Mark Rennick here from the Family Podiatry Centre. Diabetes is such a common disease that it's very likely that you have a family member or friend who has diabetes. As podiatrists, we are interested in the effects of diabetes because it has these lifelong effects and damages that it creates in the foot. The reason is that with high glucose levels in your body, the tiny little blood vessels that supply the nerves in your foot get damaged. And when these are damaged, that means the nerves don't get the nutrients that they need. And nerves are very important to relate sensation from the foot up to the brain for you to know what your foot is being exposed to. Just normal walking exposes your foot to a lot of dangers. When you have normal sensation in your feet, you're not really at any danger if you're walking barefooted or with shoes on. But when you have diabetes that have affected the blood vessels that affect your nerves and your foot is starting to lose sensation, just a tiny little pebble getting inside your shoe is a hazard. Or walking barefooted can be really dangerous and even taking a bath in hot water or hot shower could be dangerous. The reason for this is that your foot starts to go numb. When people with diabetes oftentimes complain that they are starting to feel as though when they are walking they are stepping on cotton. This is typically the initial sign that the foot is starting to go numb and that the nerves are starting to lose sensation. So when there is no sensation and you are walking with a tiny little pebble inside your shoe, it is very easy for that pebble to erode the skin away, to dig a little hole and to make a wound without you having any idea that that is happening inside your shoe. In the field of podiatry, we specialize in finding and preventing these types of injuries from occurring in the foot. One particular one that we look at, which is always only done when it is too late, instead of doing it in advance, is to detect pressure areas on the foot. So, in assessing a patient with diabetes, we would look at you walking and then use some sophisticated technology that measures and quantifies the pressure throughout the whole foot and gives us an image of where all the dangerous high pressure areas are. Because you see, as you are walking with a foot that has a high pressure on a particular area that should not be getting a pressure, very slowly with the changes that diabetes causes in your feet, you will get this soft tissue underneath your skin being eroded away, wearing down, the bone in the area being eroded away and wearing down, and of course because the foot's numb, you're not going to know that this is going on until one day when a person with diabetes takes their shoes off, takes the sock off and finds that the sock is full of blood or that the sock is very wet, then has a look under the foot just to find a hole that size underneath the foot. This is what oftentimes leads to amputations and the amount of amputations that happen around the world and in Singapore due to high pressure areas in the diabetic individual's foot is staggering. It is very real and it happens regularly. To avoid amputation and to avoid long-standing ulcerations under the foot that can take years to heal and eventually lead to one's death. It is very important to get the pressure under your foot analyzed to see whether you have any area that may be building up towards becoming an ulcer which then later on leads to amputation. So if you have a family member or a friend that has diabetes and they do not know about this, please share this video or educate them about this topic because the test is very simple, the test is very cost effective and the treatment is very effective. And fortunately the treatment falls under the prevention category so it means that when done correctly your foot goes on throughout life without any issues and you can keep your feet instead of it leading to an amputation. Thanks for watching.